Hi everyone, how are you all doing? Uh, I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I am going to share some of the tips, like basically four different ways of uh, reaching out to professor. If you all know, or if you have watched my previous video of how to apply for a grad program in the agriculture, emailing to professor or contacting the professor is the first and the initial step. So from there, the process goes on. If you're going for a thesis program, there are some different ways that you can reach out to professor like I have figured it out in the recent times and I thought I would share with you in the YouTube because uh, recently I'm getting DMs of you guys like some of you guys are emailing me or uh, DMing me in my Instagram saying that I'm emailing to professors but they are not responding you're not alone and that's normal like I have DM to so many like around 400 to 500 professors and I got only uh, like around uh, maybe 50 like less than 50 responses from them it will be like that and it's normal don't worry everyone is going through this phase but you need to crack this down uh, if you wanted to come into a university and pursue your master's or phd in a u.s university so let's explore the methods now the first one as you all know is emailing the professor it's considered as like a traditional way uh, because that's the only way I did and I didn't know the ways that I'm talking to you right now when I have applied for the professors. Every one of us know and even in my previous videos I have told you like email the professors and wait for their reply. I have also made a video on how to write and frame an email to the professor. You can check it out like I will place somewhere here or maybe in the description box. This is kind of a slow process but it is gonna work out but you before doing this you need to research about that uh, particular professor you are interested in and see what are their research interests before even shooting an email and there is a framework that you need to follow when you are doing the email the second one is reach out to them through linkedin uh, firstly you need to have a linkedin account and it should be active i highly recommend you to post something related to your work uh, maybe monthly once uh, also it's okay uh, to post it uh, once in a while but keep it active and make sure that you connect with the people in the LinkedIn that's very important that will make your process easier and quicker that will help you in building up your uh, profile when you're applying for any grad school in the United States and in there uh, you try to connect with your interested professor uh, most of the professors might accept your connection once you get connected to the professor I would say at, maybe at least wait for a day and then then message them, message them. I mean, at least that's what I do because that's uh, how sometimes it worked for me uh, instead of just having the connection and immediately messaging them. Uh, you can start off with uh, thanks for connecting and I'm so and so uh, from India or whichever country you are from and then uh, go ahead and explain what you have done before and uh, why you have connected with them. If they are interested or if they are looking for any projects or if their colleagues or any different other professors they know uh, are uh, looking for students they will reach out to you because that's how I got my opportunity in the University of Maryland so any opportunity is not small and don't neglect even if it is a very very tiny opportunity just go for it and you never know from where you're going to get the admission and that's your whole point of connecting to people in the LinkedIn and the third one is online conferences this is something that I have not done personally but uh, I have heard students uh, they had a good results when they have attended online conferences which are conducted by some of the societies of US soil science society of America or uh, agronomy society or American society of horticultural sciences like there are some different societies in the US and they conduct online conferences and the best part is the students can join in for free and they can get to uh, learn about the things what the others are doing and they can have the conversation with the professors if they wanted to because they can have breakout rooms and that's how uh, they can uh, make connections with the professors that's the best part of uh, any conferences that you attend not only online conferences there are also some international conferences that happen in India or any other uh, like whichever country you are from try to attend them and uh, see how the conference vibes are maybe sometimes uh, professors from different countries will come there for giving talks and if you attend their talks and show interest about their research work that 
that they are doing there is a high chance that you might end up as being their student that's a great way of connecting with people and i would highly recommend if you wanted to go for any conferences uh in and around your place which are happening uh, particularly the international conferences then just go for it and you will find it success if you are interested in coming abroad and having uh, education there and the fourth way is through social media particularly the twitter uh, so many professors mainly the turf grass uh, they have twitter handles and most of their work they showcase it in the twitter because i'm from turf grass i know most of the professors from different universities they tweet what work they are doing and what are the daily things that they are dealing with and there is whole community out there uh, like whole scientific community out there exchanging their ideas and exchanging their work in the twitter that's also one of the great way to reach out because it's easy for them to recognize you in their in that platform rather than emails because emails is something they get every single day with so many other people and your email might get lost so many hundreds of emails that they get each and every single day twitter is something different and not everyone know that they will respond in twitter sometimes there is a high chance that uh, they can respond in twitter and you might get an admission uh, why to waste or why to miss a chance of contacting them even in any small or tiny possible way so yeah these are all the four different ways that you can reach out to professors and Uh, find your luck and see if you can get a chance to work with them hope this is informational if you like it just share it with your friends who are looking for any admission in the united states see you all in the next video until then shravya signing off bye